from beautiful, chilly Southern California, it's the Suzanne Summer Show, and here she is. We just got out of bed an hour ago. Yeah, I know, I know. If, if you're sleeping all this time, somebody just Facebooked me. Oh, that was the, the reminder on my phone. Um, that means you probably had a good time last night. Did you have a good time last night, Caroline? We did. We had a very mellow night. But um, I didn't realize from our deck, all the fireworks uh, over Los Angeles, you can see everything. It was oh. spectacular. Oh, God, that house. That house is so fantastic. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to have a New York City party. It was pretty great. We kind of stumbled outside at five till, just so, so like, oh, we should go look. It looks really great. Five two at at at. Nice evening. At pardon me. Did you guys have a nice evening? We did, but I was going to ask you a question about your night last night. Did you go out at five to twelve or five to nine? Five to twelve. Oh. We stayed up until midnight. We are now considered, uh, we're in the el elder category, and um, so our midnight was nine o'clock, and the group we were with uh, all liked that it was at uh, nine o'clock. Then everybody got their car and went home. Yeah, but you know, it was interesting. Yeah, what was interesting? Well, we were invited to this very small, intimate very dinner small, with yeah. a dear friend. Yeah, six people. And um, to watch the ball come down in Times Square at 9 o'clock. But we were having such a great time at dinner, <laughs> we forgot to turn on the TV. Yeah, we never and we, never, we still haven't seen the ball come down in no. Times Square. No. No, I haven't seen it, but Anderson Cooper and Andy Cohen... Um, uh, you know, liked my uh, contribution. Yeah, did anyone watch uh, Andy? We had it on and off, but I didn't see your segment on there, but we weren't watching for that long. Yeah. Okay. So if anyone who is watching right now saw Suzanne last night on CNN, let us know. Yeah, I'd like to know. Because we didn't see it. Yeah, those, those two are funny because Andy's yeah. always trying to get Anderson drunk, and Anderson, even drunk, doesn't act. I know. Um, okay, you know what? There, what? Are, there are probably some people oh, who, want who joined us happening. who want to know because yeah, today it's, it's, it's Suzanne Hawks. Selects, yeah. our monthly thing, and it, it goes along with having your period, right? Mm -hmm. Suzanne oh. Selects every month. That's how we know. It's every I, 28 I, I have, days. I have, I have something to tell you, Al. Yes. I no longer get my period. I'm You're not kidding. Pregnant. No. You're kidding. get pregnant. No. Oh. Uh, so no. I have I've been worried all these years. Uh, oh, so you're you're eggless. I'm eggless. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, oh, I, I feel you, actually I feel better. You feel better. I feel better. Yeah. Because. Well, I was worried that you might become pregnant. Oh. And I thought, you know, our uh, children in their fifties might find that kind of yeah, yeah, odd. Yeah. Okay. Hey, there was a woman in England who was 67 yeah. who gave birth. Okay? Yesterday? No, no, this was years ago. It was oh, like okay. three, four, or five years ago. Awesome. Incredible. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I mean, it's a tough one, you know, when you're 67 and you give birth. Hopefully, you're going to live a long, long, long time so yeah. that the baby you're bringing into the world. I'd like to have a baby, Alan. Well, uh, you know, very soon uh, our grandchildren are of an age and uh, you know one or two of them might surprise us but it's always good to have a little person in the family i know you know there's just something about my it my sister is so excited about her new what would this be caroline great grand great great or just one great no one great yeah one great. okay okay all you all folks right. so this is Suzanne Selects. Okay. Here it is. Our monthly thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pardon me? Okay. A subscription. Monthly subscription. That's what it is. I was just testing, yeah. Caroline. Right. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the retail value of what you're going to be getting is $139.96. Say $140. Bucks. Okay. 
And what you're being charged is $39.99. That's it's incredible. A great deal. Why are we doing this? We're Why? doing this because we want you to charge. To, 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 let me put my teeth in. Right. We're, we're doing this because we want you to test our products. They're organic, mm -hmm. they're one of a kind, yeah. they're the highest quality ingredients that we can find anywhere in the world. Yep. They're very carefully, very carefully formulated and we want you to have them. They're good for you, okay? And I say that advisedly. I don't know why, but I why? do. I don't know why. I think that what you're saying to them is top of, top of the line. Top of top the line. Top of the heat. Yeah. This is, this is, you know when you, when you um, have a product line and you say, you know, it's the best and um, it, 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 it rings phony, so I'm not gonna say that, but those of you who have been using our products for all these years, you know. You know how good it all is. And um, everybody at our New Year's table last night are devotees of our product. And um, Well, that's because they're getting it for no, I'm just kidding. Right, probably... Yeah, right. Yeah, do I ever. I love your right. products, Suzanne. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, so uh, what are the three things in the Suzanne Selects box? Well, I will tell you. Well, the thing that excites me the most is yeah. the zinc pickle weight. Yeah. But, um, By the way, you know that uh, picture of you there with information? Yeah. Would you explain what the information is? So, because the people are going to be getting that in their box. Oh, what you mean this? Yeah, what, what is all that information? Well, I look cute. Yeah, you do look cute. Okay, all right. And um, a foaming exfoliating cleanser, which uh, Caroline loves. Coconut moisture serum, which Caroline loves and I love. I, I love. She uses it as a, like a facial oil. Man, putting, some of you are afraid to put oil on your skin, on your face, because of pimples or something. Don't be. It's it's incredible. Then there's the yeah yeah it's unreal yeah it's so moisturizing it's a game changer. I agree. And then we've got the zinc picolate, which I will explain to you what that is. And then and then we've got a big surprise. And then it has all the ingredients of I every know. single thing, right? I know. Okay. Yeah, and here's the a foaming exfoliating cleanser. It foams, it exfoliates, and it cleans. It does everything that the um, name of the product says that it does. And uh, it's just, I don't know, I love exfoliating. Uh, I have still, and I think I'm lucky, at my age I have thick skin in every way I can. Well, what you've been through in life, you have not thick skin. <laughs> Uh, I like the connotation of it, but um, it also, I love, I love, like I did it today, Yeah. and I put it all on, and I walked down from the bathroom to the bedroom part of our bedroom suite to tell you something, and then realized by the time I had gotten down there that the, the feel on my skin from letting it sit there for a couple of minutes was a little... Um, tacky, but I don't mean that in a negative way, in a, in a positive way. And um, and then my skin was so ready for me to, because now it dried a little bit, and it was ready for me to like exfoliate all the dead stuff off. And uh, it, it's a, it's amazing how clean we don't get our skin, and uh, it's amazing how how uh, clean you can get it if you. Just put in two extra minutes, and that's what this exfoliating cleanser does. So, I use. You know what I like about this? You know, your peach exfoliating cleanser is a deeper exfoliation. Right. It's just like a nice face wash that has exfoliation in it. So it's, a, it's just a good everyday exfoliator. I love it. 
And for our uh, French-speaking audience, mm -hmm. it's démarquillon, expolion, quotidien. I thought, I thought it was démarquillage. Cha cha cha. Pardon? I thought it was démarquillage. Démarquillage. Isn't that makeup? No. Maquillage? No. It's not. No. Well, but don't dive deep on my French because I I learned in high school from a bad French teacher. Well, maybe she someone. Wasn't who, bad, like she was a bad person. She maybe just, somebody, yeah. Did yeah. not know how to explain this. Yeah. Explain the the course she was teaching us in a yeah. way that was understandable to we the students. Yeah. You know, after I flunked twice and got expelled twice, mm -hmm. uh, I had to find a school, a non-public school, to I go to because did. they wouldn't take me. I bet you did. So I went to this private high school, and it was the greatest right. experience of my life. Why? Because there were only seven kids in my oh. class. Oh. And in Canada, we have five years of high school. I did all five years in two and a half years. Wow. And then my university experience was even better. It was great. So what I realized, I was flunking out all the time and getting expelled because I was bored. I had lousy teachers. Yeah, and you get bored easily. I do. The fact that you've stayed with me for 52 years makes yeah. me feel really good about myself because he has... Um, a short attention span, uh, and that's putting it mildly. But anyway, the coconut um, moisture serum that I was talking about is this, which I know for so many of you that you're in love with this product. I'm in love with this product. I never waste a, a drop of it. When I'm finished, you know, putting it on my skin, whatever is still on my hands, I pull, I pull to the bottom of my hair to keep it shiny and soft and silky and but you know I what you, you know what i suggest I like like we've, 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 we've yeah. i use it on my cuticles i use it on my face i use it on my hair i use it on my knee yeah so do i what were you saying alan uh, what i was saying was it, yeah. you referred to this as coconut oil. Yeah. That's only one of the oils that's in here. Yeah. So why don't you look at that page that's got the... Uh, oh, I was hoping that off the top of your head that you would remember. But we've got Abyssinian uh, seed oil and... Let me, uh, here it is, here it is, here it is. A global, a global search for nine of nature's most nutrient-rich oils uh -huh. is celebrated in a serum with universal applications to combat lack of moisture. Okay. Dry skin, hair, and nails Steve are no match. Hold it, just a moment. <laughs> it's information for crying out loud. <laughs> and dry, dry skin, hair, and nails are no match against this powerful botanical oh, yeah. blend to improve tone, texture. Like you interrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, all right. Here's what's in it, girls and guys. Virgin organic organic coconut oil. Virgin. Yeah. Say what you're going to say, Al. No, I, I would only have questioned that if you had said it was extra virgin. Oh. Which yes. I don't even understand. No, you don't. No. And you bring that up every time. Okay. And then... Um, and. Coconut derived medium chain triglycerides. That's like, that's like, holy cow, that's kind of great. Safflower seed oil, broccoli seed oil, argan oil, metaphone seed oil, raspberry seed oil, nigella seed oil, and seed buckthorn berry. That's all in this compilation of oils, but the number one ingredient, whenever they put the uh, number one ingredient at the top, that means there's that's got the most of it. And the number one ingredient is the coconut oil. Coconut oil. I had a woman who I worked with from Sri Lanka, and um, you know, she would talk about pythons around her house in Sri Lanka as a girl, like everybody's got pythons, um, but. Um, uh, she she felt that uh, coconut oil was very effective in whooshing away the pythons from the house. If you have that problem, are pythons are pythons yeah. those snakes in baskets and guys sit there yeah. Yeah. playing a flute and the yeah. snake comes up yeah. and looks at them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There. You know, I'm not a big snake fan, but um, anyway. This coconut oil, it's its worth getting the box if you're not only already a subscriber, just to try this for the first time. Yeah. And then you get these other ingredients. There's yeah. one more thing though. Oh, before you, before you move on from that, 
Uh, okay. The amazing thing about this coconut moisture serum, if you have those bumps on the back of your arms, mm-hmm. you just have not been able to Well, that's your Suzanne coconut moisture How about uh, the back of your husband's arms? Because he's always had that it, problem. It got rid of them. It got rid of them. Got rid of them. Got rid of them. Yeah, because he always complained about that, even as a boy. And so um, it's 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 awesome. So now can I tell them about the, Are you here? Oh, here's what he came to show us. This is in the box. Uh, tomorrow, I will put on my leopard top to wear with this. Isn't that just the cutest? You, know, you could rob a bank with, yeah. like this with the mask and yeah. the glasses. Yeah. Okay, really? Yeah. You could do that. And, 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 and once they investigated, they go, what did he look like? Yeah. Well, he was wearing a mask and sunglasses. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's wearing a mask and sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's so cute. It is. I love it. I think it's so cute. Isn't that cool? And I actually, uh, God, I, I hate wearing my mask. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, and that's the immature part of me because they are what they are and they're, they're necessary at this moment in time. But um, uh, I love the idea that I have so many things that will match my mask because, you know, I kind of like yeah. that print. Yeah. Although we are watching... Chris, Christine Kohler Klapschick said um, the mask is reason enough to get the box. Thank you, Christine. I think you're right. I yeah. think you're right. We were watching uh, on Netflix. Are you surprised? Oh, Netflix. Today, um, the uh, David A- Attenborough special, which on the planet. And oh, our planet is so good. So good. And yeah, but when he's so, finished, you're depressed. Yeah, but he's, I mean, he's devoted his life to this, so he's the real deal. But they, uh, they had um, a, a visualizations of a couple of actual real leopards. And it, no wonder it's such a popular print. It's so beautiful. And, um, you know, I mean, my chair's over there are faux, and it's all faux, but oh my gosh. I, there's, there's a reason. I, I didn't, I, I did not start the leopard craze, but my friend Jack, Jackie Collins might have. She was wearing leopard long before. That's right. Was wearing leopard. She made leopard jewelry. Leopard jewelry, everything. Yeah. And we loved her. Yeah, I loved her. You actually starred in her first feature movie. I did. I did. Called uh, Yesterday's Hero. Yes. Yeah. Which we shot in London, yeah, and it was the greatest schedule for a movie. Oh my gosh! We, yes. You've done like maybe twelve or fourteen movies, mostly for television, yeah. and each um, <laughs> each movie was not a good experience because of the hours. You know, when you do a sitcom, you come in at you come in at ten, and you yeah. you're out of there by four thirty yeah. or five, yeah. Monday through Thursday, yeah. and then Friday. Yeah. It's a little longer. You take the show, yeah. and you go home in time for dinner. It's great. I know. No one could understand why I sort of um, was sort of nonchalant about my movie career because I didn't like making movies. I just didn't enjoy it. It's not the way I like to work. I, I. Um, uh, it's just not the way I like to work. I love sitcoms. I love sitcom is like doing a um, a fresh play every week, and um, it was fun. And it's fun. Like on Three's Company, you know, we knew the apartment, we knew where the, that couch. I saw something on Facebook the other day. Anybody recognize this couch? And I thought, yeah, yeah, we recognize it. So anyway. Yeah, but also all the movies, none of them were comedies. No. They were all, you no. know. <laughs> were any of them comedies? No. no. I realized I love this sweater. I love this sweater, but you know what? It's wool. Yeah. And I'm allergic to wool. It makes me itch like crazy. Well, take it off. So if I take my sweater off here on camera, don't be shocked. Yeah, take it off. I might do it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you would like it if I did that. You're so bad. No. Um, for those of you who are asking, um, Suzanne's subscription, which is called Suzanne's 
times. Uh, whenever you sign up to, to get it, you will be charged the next month on the exact same date. So for those of you who are getting it later in the month, if you want to move your subscription to on January 1st, right. just call customer right. service or right. log into your subscription account, right. move the date up, and that way it will they will initiate the sale on the first and they'll charge a card and then it will get shipped, you know, it takes a week or longer for shipping. But if you're if your sale date was later in the month, you might not get it until very late in the month, and it's kind of more fun to get it sooner. So change the date yeah. if you like to get it sooner in the month. Yeah, because how did you know when you ordered it that now you're going to be at the back of the line? You just like to be at the back of the line. Or every, you can also get it every two months or every three months, so you get to decide yeah. how frequently. And it's super easy to pause or cancel if, you're, if you decide you want to take a break. Yeah. We got you covered, ladies and gentlemen. We got and um, I don't know, when I took my picture in this dress, it was a different color, Caroline. It was. It was. Now you're, now you're, now you're letting my secret down. No. Um, I know, I heard that pause. Um, <laughs> it was, I think it was blue when you took the picture. No, really? Really? <laughs> By the way, without, without saying what we're going to be uh, introducing, uh, when are we introducing? What our... we're introducing that we're not talking about? Yeah, when is that? Monday. Monday? This is a good one, okay. girls. Yeah, make sure mm. make sure you're with us on Monday. Mm -hmm. Is it we're at it, what time Monday? Is it noon? Did you say? It's noon. Yeah, noon. Yeah. Noon Pacific time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. noon Pacific time. Whatever you're doing, join us at noon Pacific time on Monday. Tell your friends. You will not be disappointed. No, no. Are you happy? Oh. We started this morning. Okay. All right. Well, it's um, a good one. Could you do me a favor and put that mask down with the other three products? Because some people didn't understand that the mask is part of the box. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's in their way to hear about your zinc colony. Okay. And also, um, uh, uh, yeah. Pick a lick. What I want you to do is put more ice in here because I'm just drinking water because this is my dry January. Okay. But just keep it loaded up with ice because okay. my water really cold. Okay. Okay, zinc picolate. Zinc zinc is so important that I want to read how to read it more interestingly than the way he read it. Okay. Picolinate. Thank you. You're welcome. Very much. Um, zinc picolate. It's been shown to have superior absorption. Absorption is the key thing, you know. It doesn't matter what you're taking. If you're not absorbing it, what good does it do? And so, um, uh, relative to zinc citrate and zinc gluconate, there are different kinds of zinc. So, um, the zinc picolate, I'm going to read to you because this is kind of important. Okay. Oral zinc supplementation may shorten duration of the common cold. Okay. Zinc is great for your immune system. Okay. It's uh, been shown to increase T cell numbers and various aspects of immune response in elderly subjects. I'm not liking this elderly thing that they're pinning on us, all right? I know. I know. It's all right. I, uh, I'm enjoying the category that I'm in. And um, we were with people last night who were considerably, well, they're your age. So considerably younger than we are. And uh, I love. Consider you guys elderly? No. No. Um, the, the, one of them brought their, their little girl. She's not a little girl. She's a pilot in Israel. And um, it's amazing looking at this young woman who is flying these fighter bombers. She's, then, she's a pilot in Israel? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, I, I know she was a pilot. And their other daughter met um, each other in Israel. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, she's and a lawyer and he's a lawyer. Very impressive family. Very Imagine impressive. the arguments of a two-lawyer household. No, I can't. 
<laughs> I cannot. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, she said something. I was all dolled up last night. I remember I had my diamonds on and everything. And she said, I, I, I want, I, I hope when I'm your age, I'm glamorous like you. And I thought, how cool is that? You want to turn on the next generation. You want them to, I, I think the greatest, the most flattering thing anybody can say is I, I want what you have. And she was looking at the gown and the feather jacket and the, um, the jewelry and she wanted it. And I thought, how cool is that? Yeah. She was looking at your energy. Yeah. Yeah, she was looking at your, your yeah, she was looking at she. Yeah, she. She was looking at your jewels when she said, "I want what you have." She was looking at your jewels. Of course not. Yeah. No. I have well, a, I, she was darling. I have to hawk them. And I did find when we were in Israel last spring that the all the you know they all go in the service real uh, early, and um, the sexiest thing I ever seen are these Israeli girls that walk all around. We were only in Jerusalem, so I don't know about the rest of the country, but I imagine it's the same. In their um, camo uh, military outfits with the jack boots and the, and the, and the camouflage pants tucked into the uh, combat boots and um, uh, with an Uzi slung over the shoulder. An Uzi is like a machine gun. I, yeah. I don't know anything about guns, but that's what it looks like to me. They're all carrying these machine guns and um, pretty sexy. <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting yeah. that it's required uh, that you serve, I think, two or three years in the yeah. military yeah. for everyone. Yeah. But aside from serving in the military, I think what it does, it helps you to mature. Yeah. And it also uh, develops a um, uh, an element of responsibility vis-a-vis yeah. -vis your life. Yeah, exactly. You know, when you look into the eyes of some of those young people we met over there, mm -hmm. you see the history of that country. Yeah. I, I loved being in Jerusalem. I, I've told you all that before, but I had never been. And um, it's like a little engine that could. When you look at... Uh, Israel, like if you could have one of those, you know, what do you call the drones? Drones, yeah, like or satellite. Says. Yeah, I, it's it, it's it's as big as my fingernail in light of the whole Middle East, and what an accomplished country. And um, but there's something, you know, I I was raised in Catholic schools, and we studied the Bible, the Old Testament, and the New Testament. When you're walking around Jerusalem, you're actually walking the same steps that they walked on in the in the uh, Old Testament and the New Testament. And I would touch things and realize, like there was one place where they said, this is where Jesus would preach, I've got pictures of it, and you think, did he touch this and now all these years later I'm touching this I was blown I was blown away I've never experienced history like that it was so so exciting it doesn't matter what religion you it are or, even if you have no religion it doesn't matter if you're not at all you know a Catholic a Protestant right. a Muslim a Jewish a Baha'i it doesn't matter no it doesn't Greek Orthodox it's all they're all there and there's just something about walking around in those streets. Absolutely. I don't know what it is. I, I, I look forward to the day that you and Bruce go to Israel so that we can all have this conversation. Maybe we'll all end up going together. It's pretty exciting. Pretty, pretty incredible. And we'll do a Facebook Live show from there. Because <laughs> now you can. So Absolutely. awesome. So awesome. Yeah. So anyway, uh, those are all the, I think I told you everything about the zinc. Yeah. Yeah, and um, and that it um, I can say may shorten 
the duration of the symptoms of a common cold. Um, it's been shown to increase T cell numbers uh, in various aspects of immune response in elderly, sub elderly subject. Um, and it's been shown to increase the gene expression and enzyme activity of SOD in overweight type 2 diabetic patients. If you're diabetic, you know what SOD stands for. It's been shown to improve glucose, glucose metabolism in people with prediabetes. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of effect for a supplement. I take it every day, every, every day. And I have for years and years and years. I've always known the, the value and the power in these supplements. So, so I can go on and on and on about the moisture serum. Oh, it's so good. And besides putting it on your hair and your skin and your elbows and your fingernails and cuticles and all that, take a dropper, keep one next to your bathtub and right before you get in and all your water level is right where you want it, take a dropper and like just drop a dropper of the coconut moisture serum in your bath water. You will smell great, you will feel great. It's, it's, it's just awesome, awesome. Okay. Also, you can rub it all over your body. And you can rub it all over your body. Yeah. Rub it on you. Absolutely. When Alan had, um, you know, his mishap with the Cuisinart plate two weeks ago, we all remember that. And it looked like Charles Manson was in our kitchen. I mean, there's blood everywhere. It took so long for that to heal. But one of the things that I used, I would exfoliate his legs at night, and then I would put. Um, this all over his legs, the coconut moisture serum, and um, you're healing beautifully. Are you taking your shoe off? I'm just going to show well, you. Well, I'm just. Uh, this is. Uh, I so just want to. Cool. Yeah. I just want to show something. Now show here. them. Show them. Okay. All right. Can you put your foot all the way up here? No. No. I took it off. Oh. Okay. Look, what do you see shoes? Okay. So we developed uh, along with Dr. Leslie. Mm -hmm. A, uh, a design business yeah. and it's based on uh, thousands and thousands of my doodles yes. that I've done over the years, mm -hmm. literally, I don't know how many, 10,000 doodles mm -hmm. and they're all on uh, separate, uh, copy, separate cards or, or post-its, I guess. Hi. Well, you look great with that. Yeah, thanks. And uh, so we will be um, partnering with a licensed company, hopefully soon. We haven't talked with any of them yet. We just or me. Ready. Okay. Yeah. Right. And I want to show you. you see these shoes? Daughter Leslie uh, took some of the doodles because they're applicable for a hundred different applications. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And she put them on a pair of Is sneakers. That the cutest? I don't Is know. that the cutest? Can you see this? Maybe I should go around the other side. So cute. Well, you, you can see it okay? I can't see the foot yet. No, I'm looking at Suzanne. I have a little bit of a delay. Hang on. Oh, oh I was going to say, yeah, Carolyn's not all that impressed. Oh, let me go right. around the other side. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which, by the way, I just noticed, Alan, that you've got your white uh, earbud speaker thing. Yeah. Did you find the one that I dropped on the floor last night? I did. Oh, okay. Okay. Look how cute. Okay, there is. This is the one that she. They're so cute. She okay. took that same fabric and made me that incredible dress that she and Alan designed together for me to wear to the uh, Vanity Fair Oscar party yep. when there was a Vanity Fair Oscar party. But how cute is that? And yep. a, even the manliest man would feel good wearing these shoes. You know, the thing is, all the doodles that I do, I can only do them when I'm on the phone. I know. I can't if you said to me doodle. I could doodle, but it wouldn't yeah, have it would be the same. It wouldn't be like and this. Whenever you've done that, it's not the same. Yeah. Right. Right. Anyway, one of these days. I, I love I love those shoes. I love them. I uh, I actually would like a pair of high heels in that same fabric. Whoa. Yeah, I know. That'd be really cute. I know. You shall have that. I shall. You shall have that. I'd like that. Yeah. I know. So. You know, you can wear stuff like this, Al, and you pull it off. It all looks so great on you. Well, thank you. You're... Yeah, they all, they all want to know where they can buy the shoes. Unfortunately, nowhere yet. Yeah. Al likes to show you things you can't have. 
<laughs> it's so great, isn't it, Caroline? Right. Servants first and then furniture. Yeah. Bruce is noisy. Um, he's not noisy. We he took we took down all the Christmas decorations today, so he was just sliding the furniture back into place. Oh, oh, so you're like ready for the next chapter. Oh we, wow. we are we are Oh wow! Wow. Yeah. Well, your house looks really beautiful. The tree is down. Mm. It feels good. It feels nice. I have a big pot of turkey soup. Mm. Hey, you know we you should. You know, I could, I will, I if, if I had known, I would have married you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Carol, Carol Ann said, "Make a mask with Al's doodles." Huh? Oh, that would be so cute. Yeah. 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 Well, we could do doodle mask. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I should have thought of that last year. Yeah. I hope we don't need them for longer, but right now we do. So that's cute. Okay, let's do that, huh? Okay. 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 Um, so I just want to run by. We have a few new people on, and um, if you're not familiar with Suzanne Selects, Suzanne has a subscription box, and you can sign up to get it every month or every other month or every three months. Up to you. It's always going to be thirty nine ninety nine. It's filled with full size products. We don't do um, sample sizes. Kiwi. We don't do kiwi. We don't do kiwi, and then it's great stuff. These are our normal everyday products that people love, and we put together this incredibly discounted box. It's always worth at least one hundred twenty dollars. So you're getting an, an enormous discount, and we do this as a way for you to try products that maybe you would not try without it. So today you're getting the exfoliating cleanser. The coconut moisture serum, the zinc to culminate, and this adorable leopard mask because Suzanne was leopard everything. And it's only thirty nine ninety nine. So hopefully you guys will jump in and become part of Suzanne's Selects. Plus shipping is Kathy. Shipping is usually four ninety nine, but it depends on where you go. And it's like I don't know. Uh, it's like getting a present every month. And uh, we women love getting a present in the mail, even if we bought and paid for it ourselves. Yeah, it's weird, but we don't care. Do we, girls? No. And your husbands are going, I know. And like, they're looking at you like my husband's looking at me right now. I don't know what it is. We just like getting presents in the mail, and um, even if we have to pay for it ourselves. Okay, so Kathy, where is it? Kathy yeah. Dolan Fitness. Uh-huh. No, that's not what. That's not a person. Is that a person? I don't know. It's anyway, she said it's thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Do we, we charge shipping? Yes, the shipping. The thirty nine ninety nine. Okay, so it's okay. So it's thirty nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great deal. Yeah. Every, everyone loves it. Do we know? And you know. I, I, Maybe I don't want to hear the answer to this, but do we know how many people uh, go on the subscription and then cancel? Mm. I don't, and their retention is high because it's such a good deal. I mean, it's, it's always over $120, and today it's almost $140. Yeah. And you're only paying $40, bucks, so it's anywhere between 60 to 75% off the retail prices. So, um, Also, um, you can, you know, if you get a box and you go, oh my gosh, this would be so great for my sister's birthday this month. Um, how do they do that, Caroline? Because they already got theirs and they don't want to give theirs to their sister. Once, you're, once you have your own subscription, you can order an extra one to send to someone else. Um, but, you know, as Suzanne said, if there's something in this box that maybe you don't use yourself, it is a great way to get it to people yeah. because I think the coconut moisture serum alone is $40 or $50. So there you have a $40 or $50 gift. Is that for this size? Is that for this size? Yeah. Or for the large one? Yeah. I guess because um, it's so jam-packed. We never have enough for anything. Yeah. Because it's so jam-packed. We never, ever, ever uh, gouge you. We, uh, we value you so much that um, we all want to uh, we want you to get a good price we want us to make a little money we want the company to make a little money so uh, 
it's really a great value. It's really great. Brandy Buckner said I gave one to my mom for Christmas and she loved it. Oh, great. And it comes in a box. You can wrap it real easy and um, then when they open it up and all the bright yellow tissue paper. So I highly recommend when you give it that you wear your yellow sweaters the, the, when they open and take the pictures of the gift you just gave to your mother, your sister, or your best friend. You match. Well, and also, Suzanne, that, I'm looking at, I just was looking at the price of that. That's the large size coconut moisture serum. It's fifty nine ninety nine just for that amazing moisture serum that you have oh, there. Oh, right. This is the large size. Oh, that's right. That's so, right. So, yeah. So if you were to buy that on its own, it would be more than the entire box. Yeah, yeah. So here for thirty nine ninety nine, you get that plus the zinc decolonate and the foaming cleanser and the cute leopard mask. The cute one. Right. Chris, Chris Hurt just ordered two extra boxes. And ask her who she bought them for. Oh my god. Yeah, um, Chris. A lot of people are saying they got four extra boxes for Christmas. Mm. Um, so. Also, it's such a great, say. it's such a great box and such great value and it's all stuff that people want that you might just order a couple because you, you, there's always that, oh, I have to get a gift for so-and-so, and then you'll have it. You know, that's, you know what? I don't know what. I, 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 I'm not, I don't want to be a Grinch, okay? okay but I don't know what. what. Okay. I love Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Why? Because it's family. Yeah. It's great food. Yeah. It's hanging out. Yeah. And there's no pressure with buying presents, mm -hmm. okay? And um, I, you know, I was raised on Christmas Day. It would be presents. Were you that... raised in a boarding house? <laughs> sure, make fun of me, okay? <laughs> Do you know what it took for me to get out of that boarding house? <laughs> well, you knew you were on your way to eventually spend your life with me. That's right. I know so, that. What I'm are the odds? I to the boarding house, yeah. all the people you had to share beds with because you are grateful when you get into bed at night with me. I much and prefer I to share a bed with you. With the seven Chinese brothers. Yeah, seven Chinese brothers and yeah. also the Nigerian. A Nigerian prince. What was his name? Okachukwa Johnny. Okachukwa Ika Johnny. Uh -huh. One of the most wonderful human beings on the planet. Right. Very bright. Is Became, he still alive? No, he died a few, uh, died two years yeah, ago. He always keeps so loving with him. He, uh, he from Nigeria, came from a, a fairly wealthy family, studying medicine at the University of Toronto. Yeah. And the night he took me to the lab, you know, where they experiment on yeah. rats and things, yeah. <laughs> that was awful. That's when I decided to not, not become to be a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor. Your family. Yeah. 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 And yeah, it's, it was awful. It was a terrible experience. But they have so, to do it. Caroline, Ari is not going to be a doctor. Yes, I heard. I know. He's gonna he's gonna be a stripper. I have Ari is our grandson and he's been talking about being a doctor and I was kinda of excited about that. Coming from an Irish family, we don't have any doctors. Oh no Oh just a moment, your no. uncle. My uncle. Your French uncle you've my, never met. My uh, nor I. My That's father, what I just said. Uh, oh right. Your French uncle <laughs> you've never met. I thought you said that you've never met. <laughs> no, I've never my met him either. Had a lot of siblings. Uh like maybe 13 of them. People used to have that many children. Um, like but, puppy, puppies. <laughs> yeah. And one of his brothers was gay. And at that time in the 20s, man, man, there was such homophobia. And so he left the United States to be free and he moved to France and uh, he became a doctor, an Irish guy who was a doctor in France who's gay. And he lived a wonderful life and he had a lot of success and I was always really happy for him, even though I didn't know him. Little family story. You know, the house we're living in, this house, okay, yeah. this house yeah. was built over a hundred years ago mm -hmm. by a, a, a gay gentleman mm -hmm. and uh, he, he, was a, he was of means. Okay, he was very cultured, he yeah. knew a lot about art, and he was gay, and he wanted a place where what he... Are you typing? I'm giving information to oh, you. Okay, great, great. He, he, wanted, he wanted a place where he could live his life, uh -huh. okay, 
uh, without being hassled. Yeah. And so he bought this land on the mountain where we're living, which is a compound. Mm -hmm. And he built this wonderful place, and it's still, and it was over a hundred years ago. Yeah. He became the curator of the Santa Barbara Museum eventually. His name was Wright Ludington. Right. And we're great, very grateful to Wright Ludington. Yeah. My, uh, the what only. A, what a thing he created. Yeah, I wish we had gone to Santa Barbara to meet him. You know, I think that that's um, from our vantage point today. All those things that you keep meaning to do in life, we gotta go, we gotta, like my, my friend Forrest Fenn in Santa Fe, in Mexico, I've written about him. He's the one who took me on the archeological, us, on the archeological digs. He taught, he taught, he's one of my greatest teachers. And in the last couple of years, I kept saying to my husband, Alan Hamlet, that's who I'm married to, uh, we have to go to Santa Fe to see Forrest. He's in his 90s, and I, I, would, I just, I love him so much. And we, it was on our bucket list, yeah, we gotta do that, yeah, we gotta do that. We got really busy, and what a shame we didn't go, and he passed this year. And uh, aside from great sadness, when I got that phone call, great sadness, um, I thought, you know, next time I say to myself, we should do this because of whatever, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. You know, it was interesting about Forrest Fenn. Yeah. He was born in East Texas. He had no background in art. He never owned any art. Uh, he became a pilot. Uh, he flew 210 yeah. 10 missions into North Vietnam for the CIA. He had two Purple Hearts and a couple yeah. of other awards. Yeah. And when he came back after Vietnam, he went to Santa Fe. I don't know why. And uh, he got interested in art, and he wound up owning the largest, most successful gallery in Santa Fe, mm -hmm. probably New Mexico, mm -hmm. and which he built himself. And it was incredible. He had a giant pond in the back. He had a, a guest house that was so incredible. Mm -hmm. And he had a guest book there, and every person who signed that guest Sorry, book was famous. Yeah. Everybody, Steve everybody. Spielberg. Well, Spielberg loved it so much that when he made his deal with Universal, mm -hmm. he said, the building I want is the building in Santa Fe. So the architect went to Santa Fe and looked at the building and took pictures and he took measurements. And that same building now exists on the Universal lot in Los Angeles, asked, where Steven Spielberg has his movie company. Yes. Would you go in the kitchen and take what's in the oven out of the oven? Really? Or at least uh, turn the oven off and leave the oven door open. So okay. It's warm in there, but I don't want it to get overcooked. Okay. Because it's been in there over an hour. Okay. We're having lamb shanks for dinner tonight, which is always so good because it's a long, slow cook kind of thing. Yeah. And. Uh, um, so you have a few people who arrived late and they would love to know what's in the box this month. Can you just do a quick review of the items in the January? Suzanne selects. Well, we're starting with uh, the um, uh, foamy exfoliating cleanser. This stuff, you put it on and it's gentle. You put it all over your face. Wear your little leopard headband to hold all your hair back. And then after you get it on, um, if you can, two minutes is a long time and we're also impatient, but if you can wait two minutes so it gets sort of tacky, and then once it gets a little sticky, then you start exfoliating and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and getting all the dead, dry stuff, and then you rinse that off, okay? So that's the exfoliating. Then, after that, here is our coconut moisture serum. This is, this is my favorite product. I think I can go out on a limb now. I, I have so many in our line, but I think that I can go out on a limb and say, I love this product. Uh, in fact, the ambassador to Germany that I went to, we went to Israel with, loves it so much that he just asked if I would send him six large ones and six small ones because he never wants to be without it. And he, since he's been using it, he honestly looks much better. And then Zinc pic Picolate, I was just talking about how incredible this form of zinc is. Zinc 
support your immune system. Uh, and there, there's one thing, you know, I can't say anything that I'm not allowed to say, and I'm allowed to say this. It's been shown to increase your T-cell numbers uh, in various aspects of your immune response, but also it may shorten the duration of the common cold, plus all the other things it does. I take zinc every I you, you don't we only need to take it once a day, but I'm very keen on keeping my immune system at um, uh, peak operating form. I take one every morning and every night, and whatever I take, Big Al gets too. Yep. I I have these two tops to supplements that's it's about that big and it's just the right size to put everything for each of us for, for during the day. So the, that's that. But that's not all. <laughs> that's not all. Wait until you see the final thing in the box. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you know that's very sexy. Uh, of, of all the masks I've seen. Uh -huh. This is. Leopard. Yeah, that that, that cool. makes it. This is so cool. I'm going to say something that you'll be shocked that I'm going to say this. Because I've never really seen one up close. But these things always look like jock straps to me. Like what? Jock straps. Yeah, I, I swear to you, I swear to you, when I saw this thing for you the first it was time, a jock strap. I thought it was a jock. I thought yeah. I remember jock straps when I was playing hockey. So why? I no, because you've never really worn one around uh, me. Why do men wear jock? Do you, do you like the where we've um, digressed? To well, it depends what sport. You're, it yeah. depends what why sport they you're in. They would. They, yeah. Okay, if you if you're a hockey player. Yeah. Why do you, you wear it? You, okay, you wear it, and what you you. you, you it in place? I'm just telling you. When I was a hockey it player, I used to wear one, and yeah. I, I wore one called a tinny. And inside the jock spat <clears throat> was this metal made out of tin. Because if you get hit there with a puck, oh. you may never walk straight oh. again. Okay? That's not a hurt. I mean, I don't have what yeah. you have. So but, when you, <clears throat> so when you have a tinny, yeah. it's a jock strap with a tinny. Okay? A tinny? T-I-N-N-Y? I don't know how you spell it. It's made out of tin or metal of some really? kind. Yeah. Wow. And it's inside the jock strap, and if you get hit with a puck, it's like you feel it, but it's not like if you didn't have that. If you didn't have that, yeah. you'd be out of the game. Well, uh, didn't you have a story? You were going to get a vasectomy, right? Well, when I was, yeah, absolutely. In the early days of our relationship. Yeah. 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 I was I was in Canada, and I was doing some business there. And it was Sunday. No, it was uh, what it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. Yeah, you catch the plane to get home. Uh, and and a, the next I, morning, and this guy was driving me to the right, airport, right. and he said, "So, Al, well, yeah, what are you going to be doing in La La Land tomorrow?" And I said, "Well, as a matter of fact, tomorrow morning at six o'clock, I'm going into the hospital for a vasectomy." And I felt the car; <laughs> his foot came off the accelerator. Mm -hmm. And he said, so Al, I was in the Canadian Air Force and I got one of them. Let me tell you, he said, uh, he, said I, he said, let me tell you about it. And I said, I'm not sure I want to hear. I said, no, he said, you should know. He said, you ever get hit in the nuts with a hockey puck? I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, okay, that's what it's going to feel like. I said, you're kidding. He said, no, they take a big needle and, blood, and he described the whole thing. So when I got home that night in Los Angeles, yeah. I picked up the phone, I called, thank God it was late and the doctor wasn't there, the nurse wasn't there, it was the answering service. I remember, yeah. Now, the other thing you probably don't remember is, I was going to go in for a vasectomy. I swear to you, I swear to you, the doctor's name who was going to give me my vasectomy's name was Dr. Getzoff. <laughs> I'm not making this up. You're okay? Not. Sure not. Okay? Yeah. And I said, I left a message and I said, I hope I didn't inconvenience you, <laughs> but I've decided not to do it. And I'm glad I did. I decided not to do it. I find that the uh, driver you had in uh, Toronto, um, I, don't, why, uh, I don't know why this makes me laugh, but when you said you get hit in the nuts with a hockey puck, I find referring to your manhood as nuts. I don't know why that makes me laugh. Well, maybe it's That's a Canadian. My humor. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. I've heard it here. Have you heard it, Caroline? That's that's your wife. Um, it's, it's 
too long. To yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. But then you just looked your last slide. I didn't hear the one word you said your man Nuts. Oh, nuts. Oh, yeah. okay. I always call them nuts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, it is fine. I guess it's you don't like walnuts. I think it's, um, I, I, there are some words that, that are good nicknames for things, and yeah. nuts is a good one. It's funny. It makes me laugh. Makes me laugh. Makes okay. Me laugh. So Tina, Tina Raphael yes. Bannister said, yeah. quote, my husband is holding his crotch and squinting his eyes <laughs> as you discuss this. Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding his nuts. <laughs> well, haven't we gone off the charts today? Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're kind of, that's the fastest hour that our show's ever been. It's six o'clock, isn't it? Or almost, almost. almost like, three minutes. Wow. Yeah. I know. I know. So remember, it all. This whole risque conversation started because I said this reminded me of a jock strap, and that's right. I have not had much experience with a jock strap, so you get this. Well, maybe you know. Maybe next time we do a show, I'll put that thing on. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? Huh? That'd be so great. And then, you know, we can market it as a jock strap. Yeah, absolutely. A leopard jock strap. Absolutely. And you've got your foaming exfoliating cleanser. You've got your zinc pickle for your immune system. And, you know, if you get a cold, it's good for you. And my favorite product. And I think it's Caroline's. Favorite product, and is it yours, Alan? The coconut oil? It's, it's sure. Oh, no, no, no. spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. I, the liquid oxygen. I like a liquid oxygen, but you know what? This is easily number two. Yeah. A runner, right. Yeah. Ageless serum, too, I have to say. It's not their for me. Ageless serum, yeah. Yeah, I love that. We have such great products. Are you, you know what? It's in all of our top threes. For yeah. Sure. yeah. I, you know, I use the Ageless serum when I'm using the Face Master. Yeah, because it has conductivity. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, well, I only recently, after all these years, started using this as a facial oil, and I can't believe what it's done to my skin. I was noticing your skin the other day looks really great. Like, pretty really great. There's something different about your skin. It looks very youthful. So, oh, yeah. uh, maybe, it's the, maybe it's the oil. Maybe it's yeah. your bioidentical hormones. Maybe it's that you're happy. Maybe it's that you love your new place and you and your husband have such a good time together. Whatever it is, don't question it. Just keep going in the direction that you're going. You know, the thing is, when you rub it off... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year to everybody. Yeah. It's going to be a good year. I can feel yeah. it already. Yeah. It's already a good year. Yeah. Yeah. And when you, if you, do, if you do buy the subscription... Uh, Take that oil and rub it all over your body yeah. before you go to bed. Yeah. Okay? Especially if you love who you're going to bed with. And you know that song, uh, Hey, Sarah, Sarah, whatever you do, do, do. Now you're all going to be singing that. The future's not ours to see. Doris Day. Yeah. Doris Day. Doris Day. And they were talking about her son Terry Melcher today on TV for something. Well, I remember. That's all we do now is watch TV. Right. I remember Doris Day invited us to go to a party in yeah. Big Sur. Carmel, yeah. Or Carmel. Where she lived. And uh, it was a wonderful party, yeah. and Clint Eastwood was there, and several other really wonderful people. And it was to raise money for animals, and we love animals. And uh, the orchestra was Les Brown and his band of Renown. Yeah, yeah. And that was the band uh, that recorded most of the tracks yeah. with Doris Day. And she was on the road with Les Brown as well. Yeah. But she, didn't, she wouldn't get up to sing. So guess who got up in front of all those people with Les Brown and his band of Renown? With my idol. You're my looking, idol yeah. was Doris Day. You're looking at her. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she sang a couple of Doris Day songs with Les Brown. It was really wonderful. Yeah. And I even said, with Doris sitting right there, I said, I, um, I, I, I don't know if I use the word chutzpah, but that's what I was inferring to sing your songs in front of you, Doris Day. But when I was growing up, we had a record player, remember? And it played LPs, the, the bigger record. And I had one album, and it was Doris Day's album called Day by Day. And I bet if I put 
my mind to it, I could sing you that entire album from start to finish in the order that it was on the album because I loved it, loved it, loved it. Well, she's not the first uh, person you sang in front of, okay? Uh, one day we were at uh, Sinatra's and yeah and i i went to the restroom i don't know whether they call it a restroom yeah and when i came back you were standing there with the little trio that frank and barbara had brought in it was like a little luncheon thing for a few people and you were singing and i thought man you have that's guspa okay <laughs> That's right, really. Not nuts, Sing, balls. <laughs> singing, singing in Frank Sinatra's house, in front of Frank Sinatra with his trio. But you know what? And he loved it. He loved it. I am of the uh, frame of mind that um, don't miss out on any opportunity that afterwards you say to yourself, I should have. Well, that's the reason you came to my hotel the first night we had a date. Tell everybody, uh, but well, no, like, so no, but you told them. I did. I did. Yeah, and it worked out. I, it sure did. Okay, if you hadn't come that night, it probably still would have worked out because there would have been a second night. Yeah. And if it didn't work out that night, well, we'd have a third night. Okay. It sure worked out. It worked I love out. Being your wife, I love yeah. being married to you. I, I love that you're my daughter-in-law, and uh, who was saying? Um, Oh, I think on one of the TV shows we were watching, the Queen said, I don't like the word in-law. She's my daughter. So I'm not going to call you daughter-in-law anymore. Well, that's what, Mar you're my daughter. That, that, that's what Marvin Davis said to me one day at lunch. Marvin Davis, Marvin Davis said to me, what are the two words you never see in a will? Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know. He said, in-law. <laughs> okay. Well, you don't have to worry, Caroline, because you're just daughter. Here's the deal. You're getting 140 bucks worth of product, yeah. full size things yeah. for 39.99. Do it, okay? Because you'll have stuff in there. Plus, the box itself is great for gift giving. So this is All it. Right. We're now going and you away. You know what we're having tonight, Caroline? We're having the lamb shanks. But you know what we're having it with? We're having it with your wild rice that you left in that. Yeah. That we've. Um, Reconstituted, yes. With the, with the pine, with the pine nuts. Yeah, it's gonna be real good. Yeah, with the pine. All right, good night, everybody. We're about Monday at noon, and we have a very, very exciting launch for you. So we really hope that you'll join us. It's a new, yeah. new health program, and yeah. we've been working really hard on it. Suzanne um, has something; she's done something pretty spectacular. So we're excited to share. It. That's Monday, Monday at noon, California Pacific, time. Pacific time, three so o'clock Eastern, Eastern time, yeah. and uh, one o'clock Mountain time, two o'clock Central time. They all know. Yeah, they all know. They all yeah. Okay. I love you. All. Happy birthday, everybody. I love you, Caroline. What did you say? Happy. No, I just said happy birthday. Oh, I thought you said happy birthday. I did say happy birthday. Oh, you meant. I'm sure. That, no, no, no. I'm sure there are a lot of people having birthdays. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of people having birthdays. And Happy New Year's as well. Happy New Year. Okay. Happy New Year. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.